The Dilemma of Home Many traditional herding families, mainly Mongolian, live on ranches around the Interdune Lakes. In July 2024, the Towers of Sand and Lakes landscape of the Badan Jiran Desert was inscribed on UNESCO's World Heritage List. With the ensuing ecological preservation and construction restrictions, how to build homes that meet contemporary needs has become a pressing issue for the local herders. Delved into the vernacular, the designers intend to retain the indigenous building techniques, providing an intriguing possibility for future sustainable inhabitation in such a World Heritage Site. Straw Brick, Metal Shell. The project is a house for a herding family with the potential for tourism hospitality. The core area is constructed with straw bricks to meet the living needs of the family and guests. A breathable metal shell covers this core, providing space for festive gatherings and storage. While the metal shell represents mature industrial solutions, the straw bricks are directly derived from vernacular architecture in the region. The fusion of this lightness and heaviness forms our vision of an ideal desert shelter of the future. Herding and living. The host and guests access their rooms through two corridors covered by the metal shell. Meanwhile, the corridor is also used for cooking in the summer and slaughtering and storing meat in the winter, fulfilling the needs of a herder's life. The arched roof creates a yurt-like space on the mezzanine floor, evoking a sense of cultural tradition during gathering moments
adapting to the season. The excellent thermal performance of the straw brick wall and the climatic buffer zone enclosed by the metal shell ensure both a comfortable indoor climate and low energy consumption. In winter, heat is concentrated in the straw brick section, while the climatic buffer zone minimizes heat loss to the outside. In summer, the breathable shell provides effective air circulation, keeping the interior cool and comfortable low-tech construction. The building makes experimental use of locally sourced natural materials such as straw bricks and lake clay, complemented by lightweight prefabricated materials such as light steel frames, perforated aluminum alloy sheeting, and polycarbonate panels. This approach significantly reduces the high transportation costs in the desert. The construction process is relatively simple and was completed through collaboration between designers, students, and local craftsmen, making it a model with potential for wider adoption. Amidst the darkness of the silent night in the Badain Jaran Desert, the house glows like a silver bowl in the Mongolian festival. Upon entering, all senses are immersed in the familiar textures of the land. Our herder friend, Has Bayara, remarked with nostalgia, this is exactly the house we lived in when we were kids, 